Okay. Okay, so we're starting up. This is a uh, Kevin. Um, so Kevin, uh, 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 first question, just like, um, what is your name? Uh, how do you know me? How did you meet me? And tell me about yourself. Who are you and what do you like? Oh, who are you? Um, <laughs> my name's Kevin. Middle name is Scott. Um, I met you. I met Kenny off of Omegle. Um, I don't know about me. I learn languages. I'm currently learning Chinese right now. I know French and sign language. Um, I skateboard. I'm currently trying to join a hockey team because I love hockey. Um, Dude, that's so cool. What is it about yeah. languages that you like? I'm and not, what's I'm your not... what's your puppy's name? Her name's Luna. She turned one yesterday. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, but on the languages, I'm not sure. Like what I like about learning them so much. I don't know, I just think it's dope. Cool. Especially for like, I'm not saying somebody of my skin color or my race can't learn Chinese, but that's not a language that somebody like me would speak. So I feel like that's even more dope. So yeah, yeah. cool. What yeah, what was it about Chinese that that interested you? Like why that language? Um. I have a few friends that are Asian, um, and this guy that I watch on YouTube, his name is Shoma, um, NYC, and he he learns multiple languages as well, one of them being Chinese or Mandarin, so I thought that was pretty dope. I was like, cool, I want to learn that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I'm learning now, so. Yeah, I, I did, uh, in high school, I did a little bit of, like, Mandarin and German and stuff. It's just cool to know, you know? Yeah, yeah. He can translate stuff and um so and you said you were interested too in like skateboarding and uh how'd you get into that um my uncle he skateboarded a lot whenever he was my age um i'm not being i'm not gonna be like him because he loves two of his front teeth skateboarding oh. he got them replaced though but yeah oh, fuck. Like wow. both of them. <laughs> so um yeah, I don't know. Seeing him skate, I was like, that's pretty dope. And uh, I always wanted to skate, so like, cool, whatever. I'll start doing it. I started um, four years ago on like an actual skateboard, and then recently I switched to a longboard. Now I just cruise around. Oh, do a lot of your friends also skateboard, or are you the only one who's starting that out? Um, only, only three of them skate. Mm. That's enough though. You don't want to be yeah. skating on three people. Yeah. That's enough. Yeah. That's, that's a good, that's a squad you got. Like if you're, yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Truly. Um, interesting. Yeah. Like in this time of like um, black lives matter and everything and you know, like all these protests, like, do you have any thoughts on what's going on with that or. Um, protest was y'all do y'all bro like i'm i'm all for it go for it dude i mean it's i don't know dude it's understandable i mean i feel like even even if i wasn't african-american or whatever um i'd still be all for that shit because it's not right um mm -hmm. like what happens to george floyd and people like that and like now that's right so um, me personally i have a lot of experience with cops ever since seventh grade the end of seventh grade and um i'm five three and i'm like 100 pounds right and i had two cops tackle me and put their knee on my back. are you kidding for i was really yeah hold on no, one second hold on one second you froze just the, hold on one second kevin you froze for a second but, sorry hold on. Uh, it wasn't like i was barely resisting no, oh, hold on a sec. Yeah, wait, could you repeat that? Um, I, you froze. Sorry. Yeah, no, no, I was just saying, um, well, two, two, three years ago, 2018. So, yeah, two, um, uh, 
incident happened and I got arrested. And like I said, I'm five to a hundred pounds. Um, I was resisting slightly, I'm not gonna lie. And um, I had two cops tackle me and put their knee on my back. And um, that's happened multiple times because ever since that time, I've just had bad experiences. Um, and I don't like being detained. I don't like being arrested or anything. So now, again, I'm not gonna lie, I do resist, you know, but I'm still way, smaller than you know way yeah. smaller so that's, that's messed up like when it comes to your family or you know your siblings well do you do you have a lot of siblings or uh what's um, you have a big family i have one one biological system yeah do, do your parents like when you're younger do they sit sit down and talk to you about your relationship to the police or like, um, because as a white guy, I, I, I'm so completely divorced from that, you know, from that world. Like, for you yeah. and your family, what is it like? Um, my parents didn't agree neither on how they went about detaining me and getting me calmed down to put handcuffs on me. They didn't agree with that at all. But they also did say, at least for my mom, she, she did say that I just need to stop resisting. You know, and just let them do them so there would be no issues. And um, my dad, on the other hand, he doesn't really say much about how he feels ever. But um, if I had to assume, I think it pisses him off a lot. Um, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure, you know, like he, you know. I'm sure he loves you very much and like hates to see you be, you know, assaulted. You know, there's no doubt. There's no doubt he he must hate knowing that, you know. No one deserves that. Yeah, no. So what do you think what do you think needs to happen? Like what what's how do we move forward? What can happen? Like, what can change? I don't, I guess, on, on like, the racism in the bit, whenever it comes to white cops and black citizens, you can't do anything about that, because racism is going to be around for forever, I think. I don't think that's going fucking anywhere. Um, but I do think on the way that they, they choose to detain or arrest people i think that can change a lot i don't think they have to use as much force as they do whenever it's not fucking necessary if it's not necessary i don't see the i don't see the reason of putting that much force onto somebody i really don't hmm. Ever. yeah the, the one thing i can think of is i mean like i feel like the black lives matter movement right now with the protests they're it's 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 good because it's creating pressure, but to really change racism, you really have to change the hearts of people. Exactly. How do you do that? Like, right? How, I think I don't know. I think legislation needs to happen, but our government is really corrupt. So, like, how is that going to work? You know, and mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's just seems like dead ends all over the place, and we're all we all there are a lot of people that feel hopeless. You know. And, um, but, um, yeah, is there anything like, uh, what about school? What is, what is your school like? Middle school, I would say is where like all of the bad experiences with school in general started. Um, 2018, whenever I first got arrested, that's when issues started because, um, me, I'm, not gonna lie, I have depression, you know, I have other mental illnesses as well. And I informed my school of that and they did nothing. So it got to the point to where I did what I did to get arrested, then they wanted to put action into something. Mm -hmm. And another thing that happened um, at my middle school the same year, this we had two stories and this kid jumped off of a second story of the ledge and they didn't do anything about like suicide prevention type presentations in class or anything but right after right after they did so that's so, that, so it's like they're more reactive than proactive 
Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. Uh, my high school experience has been the same way as well. Um, freshman year, at least, I'm only about to be a sophomore. So, um, yeah, I think seventh, eighth, and ninth, the, the, the school and the system in general didn't do anything that they should have in time. They waited too long. Hmm. Well, do, do you go to a, uh, like, is your school mainly black students? Is it mainly like middle class? Is it like, what? Um, how would you describe it? Honestly, I think it's a mix of everything. There's, there's black kids, there's white, Hispanic, not too many um, Indian or like Muslim or Asian, not too many of that. But um, wealth wise, I don't think there's too much of that either. Um, I, only, I only know a few people that I know their parents are wealthy, you know? Um, Yeah, I don't, I don't know. What state are you in? Are you like, I'm going to guess California? Texas. Texas, okay. Interesting. South Texas or like near what city? Uh, Houston. Houston, interesting. interesting. Hmm. I wonder if that's, if, if that's the case because it, I, I wonder about like, you go to a public school? I wonder if that's this, the same with like, public schools in other states, you know, I don't know. Are there like other, like other, other high schools around the area that you think like are better schools or? Most definitely, most definitely. Yeah. Um, there's this one and it's primarily white kids who are rich and their mm. education is very well. Like they put a lot of time, effort and money into like the programs there, like the sports and everything. And um, I, I know quite a few people from that school and they're all very, I don't know if educated is, is the right word to say, but I think the, the teachers there care more. And mm. I, I feel like the kids care more as well to actually learn. So I, that's, that's for sure one of the really good schools around. Mm. Dude, you're so articulate. This is great. Like you could, you could like, you could have a podcast yourself, you know? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Before, uh, I mean, do you have any questions for me or um, is there anything else that you would want to say that you think is really important that needs to be said to other, to, for other people to hear? Um, I don't want to be offensive, but I'm saying this because this is the exact situation that I'm in. Um, and I don't want to feel like I'm saying other groups are not as validated or care about as much, but I would say really Black trans lives, those really matter, I, I think, because I'm obviously Black and I'm also trans and Black lives themselves, a lot of issues there, you know, obviously. Mm. And then um, trans people, that whole community, um, also a lot of issues. I think, if I'm not mistaken, um, in the trans community, it's one of the high uh, suicide rates in the LGBT community. So I, I do think Black trans lives really do matter as well. Wow, that is so... You were so ahead of the time. You, you were so ahead of the time. My gosh. So how how what are your pronouns? My pronouns are he him. He him. Okay. Wow. Is are you? Uh, did you just recently transition? Um, I came out as trans in 2018. A few months after I got arrested, and then. Few months after that, December first, twenty eighteen, I got my hair cut. So I would say that's actually the actually first step in transition. So wow, I'm getting there. <laughs> Man, I commend you for your bravery. I mean, mm -hmm. like, like 
when I was that, you know, when I was your age, I'm so old. I can't believe I'm even saying that. Like, like for you to be able to, to know something so securely about yourself and to speak out for yourself that way, mm -hmm. it takes so much courage. And just by you being you and doing what you're doing, you, you were a light for other people. There's no doubt about it. Like studying languages and skateboarding and like, you know, you're living, you really are living and mm -hmm. like props to you, really props to Thank you, man. You. Um, I appreciate that. Yeah. Well, awesome. Um, yeah. Any, any last thoughts or words or anything like that? Um. It's okay if you don't too. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I guess how's it for you with everything over there? Oh. Oh. Um, well, I am uh I'm in Florida right now and um I'm an actor. Um so we're actually um for me things are going really well. Um um, in terms of, I'm, I'm just like one of the really, one of the luckiest people. Um, and one of the things that I'm trying to do is reach out to people that I've, like, I don't know you. I don't know so many people on Omegle. Like, like the people you find on Omegle are like so from completely different worlds. And I'm trying to learn more about other people. Um, and also give a voice via my small YouTube channel to for people like you and another people who have something important to say, you know. And um, so that that's kind of the project that I'm doing now, and I'm just so thankful actually that um, that you were on. Um, and just like also trying to get people who I know are really smart to like come on the YouTube channel too and to talk about things. And, and I also really care about people who have the complete opposite view of, I, I would say I'm probably more along similar lines with you in terms of ideas than other like, you know, more conservative people, I would say, but it's really important to listen to where they're coming from too. Um, and because I want to learn, I want to learn how to listen better, you know, and That's good, man. it's kind of at the top of my list, dude. Yeah. You know? So, um, but thank you for asking. Yeah. yeah for sure. Um, but, um, okay. So this is great. And, uh, I'm gonna, uh, shoot this, I'm gonna convert this video. I'll send it to you and, uh, it should be up on the YouTube channel and, like 10 minutes okay oh shit all right <laughs> cool dude all right so I'll, I'll talk to you soon and uh if you ever want to do another one of these or just talk or whatever like i'm here for you and there are a lot of other people here that support you too cool, cool? Yeah. all right man <laughs> i'll see you later okay all right thank you all right bye bye